Hey, Matt. Oh, hey there. Are you ready for your interview? Yeah, sure, why not? Where are you from? I'm from Fishers, Indiana. And what section are you in? I'm in the front ensemble. How long have you been playing percussion? I started drum set lessons around the age of eight. It's gone okay since then. Cool, why percussion? Well, there's this allure about being able to breathe while you play. I don't think many other sections get that. And when do you age out? I age out this year. Can you tell me something interesting about yourself? Hmm. In my 8th grade production of Into the Woods, I played Milky White the Cow, and I'll have you know, I stole the show. Awesome. Who inspires you? Oh, drag queens. And what makes a cavalier a cavalier? I would say this disproportionate liking for the rock group Toto. What's your favorite thing about tour? Hmm. Easily bus life. And how many seasons have you been with the Cavaliers? This is my fourth season. Do you have any traditions before a show? Yeah, well usually I'll get onto the field and I'll pull my marimba up, plug in my mic cables, and then eventually pull out four mallets. Usually that happens before a show starts. Great, and what's your favorite Cavalier show? Oh, 2010, Mad World. What inspired you to start doing court? Well, when I was in 8th grade, my soon-to-be high school percussion director came in and showed us a video of Samurai, and that just absolutely got me into the marching thing. And why the Cavaliers? This front ensemble, I truly believe, has been setting the standard for this activity for a long time. What's the favorite visual you've done in a show? The entirety of the 2018 Marching Silo feature. Burton or Stevens? Stevens. Long socks or short socks? Long socks for shows, but short socks for rehearsals. Cold showers or hot showers? Hot showers, easy. Woods or metals? I'm a fan of the electronics myself. Awesome. What are the top three tour states you most enjoy? Pennsylvania is really underrated. Texas is always a hype. And uh, hopefully California treats us well this year. What about ensemble or sections? <sighs> Definitely ensemble, because I like it when a plan comes together. Are you in school? Yes, I am. What are you studying? I study composition at IU, Indiana. What's your biggest compositional achievement? Um, I've had the fortune of getting to arrange for my alma mater high school since I graduated, and they went on to win the past two years of WGI Concert World Class, which was amazing. That's awesome. Do you march winter? I used to. Who with? Uh, I was with Music City Mystique 2017 and 2018. What's your favorite show venue? <clears throat> Lucas Oil Stadium, it's just, it's the home show, everybody I know is there, it's huge, and they plan that place out for the pits. There are no huge ramps except for the one huge ramp. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snack? Well, snack, because it means I'm about to go to bed. So what's your favorite tour snack? Pit Gatorade. If you could be in any other section, which one would it be? You know, I've always wanted a march bass drum. Do you have a favorite music genre? Indie, generally speaking. What about a guilty pleasure artist? Lord, and I'm not even guilty about it. Do you have any goals for the summer? This summer, I aspire to drink at least one cup of water. Maybe two. <laughs> and what's your favorite song to chop out to? Through the fire and flames. These 200 beats per minute are not going to chop themselves. What do you want to learn this summer? <sighs> How to restrain myself at Walmart. And what's your favorite aspect of performing? I honestly really like the intimate, personal aspect of getting to know my, my, my section mates, the audience, being able to look somebody in the eye and just emote something. It's a thrill. Cool. Can you tell me your life motto? <sighs> it's bluey. What about an adjective that best describes you? <sighs> Rocket Poppy? Do you have a favorite social media platform? Snapchat, easily. When was the first time you saw a drum corps in person? Uh, 2012, my high school band went to finals at Lucas Oil Stadium, which was amazing. I saw all those finalist groups in one go. Okay, how about this? Can you give us any information about this year's program? Yeah, um, well, our show title, as you may have heard by now, is... Um, and then actually, um, when we get to the third movement, the marimbas, you won't believe this, are going to... You are not ready for what's about to happen. I'm sorry, Lamar. And then we play the closer. Ha! Huh. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Night owl. Very easily. What advice would you give to aspiring Cavaliers? Take a deep breath, sign up for an audition, and go to it. 
Can you give me your best joke? Okay, so Schrodinger, Ohm, and Heisenberg are driving down the interstate. They get pulled over late at night by a road officer. The officer walks up to Heisenberg, who's in the driver's seat, and asks, Hey, are you aware how fast you were going? And Heisenberg says, No, but I do know exactly where I am. The officer says, Well, you were going 75 and a 55. And Heisenberg says, Great, now I'm lost. So the officer walks around to the trunk, pops open the lid, and finds a dead cat in there. He says, Are you guys aware that you have a dead animal in your trunk? Schrodinger shouts from that passenger seat, Well, now I do. So, they've been speeding, there's a dead animal in their trunk, and the officer decides to arrest them all on the spot. Ohm resists. Awesome. Do you like the front of the bus or the back of the bus? Front of the bus. What about East Coast or West Coast technique? Midwest. What are your plans after this summer? <sighs> Eat ice cream, get a tattoo, and see a dermatologist. What about one word to describe your experience with the Cavaliers? Splooey. Thanks, Matt. Uh, that was 40 questions. By the way, I think you're late to block.